That's right. She's allow, you know, allowing me in that little bit more, 10% more, 20% more. At first, it's like, ah, you know, it's so much. And especially if they got cold feet. Okay. So I'm going to give that a little rest. And I'm going to come down now and follow it here, this way. This can be really, like, this is one of the sorest spots for a lot of people, just in here. Okay. And, you know, she can feel that. And that's going to add to which band? Quick quiz here. The delta band, yeah. Even though it's coming in here and we lose it by here, okay, it comes in and adds to tension through here and then all joins up. And you can see she's pretty tight through here. Like, does, do you guys want to have, do you feel, can you see that? Can you sense that? That's pretty tight, right? So I'm expecting, this is one of the major ones that add to it, but also the front of this toe add to it. And then one, two, three sides of this toe add to it and then parts of this toe at least two sides possibly three add to that as well and then this one and this one add to the upper little toe band over here okay so again patience and perseverance we're going to work through here again just sensing us breathing so that it encourages her to breathe we don't want people holding their breath and tightening up And then I'm going in, and again, it's very, very tight through here. And you can see how this tool saves so much effort on my hands, because the diameter of my thumb or my finger is so much greater than the actual width of the band. The band width here is actually about that wide. All right. So me doing this means I don't have to overexert myself, and yet I'm getting a, a huge result. It's really up there. And so it's saving me a lot of time and I'm getting the roots of it. And as I say, when we do this properly, this took me, you know, most of 28, 30 years to figure out how important this was. Um, then the rest of it's easy. What I found is when I first learned massage, it was all about the big muscles. And now I realize it's all about the ends of the bands. Okay. So, uh, an acupuncturist once really showed me something where they, they actually bleed the ends of the meridians. They actually stick a needle in and let a drop of blood out. And I was like, wow, that's far out. And then I really understood how important the ends of the... And that, then it was meridians, but now I understand it's the ends of the bands, how important they are. So again, I'm on this spot. I feel it's kind of jammed up. Uh, so what I'm doing is just holding that and then letting her breathe into it and then ever so slightly moving it as well and then to, that's right at her threshold so it looks like a very you know like I'm not doing too much or anything but it's huge for her it's like ah, you know right up there okay and one of the most important things if we're gonna do this is, is having that sensitivity that we're not gonna push them beyond that and as she starts to realize that yes I'm gonna work near her threshold but I'm not gonna go over it then she can relax more because at first people are like whoa that's so intense and you pushing me right to my limit, you know? How am I gonna relax? But once she realize, are you gonna push me over, you know? And you can see it's not hard pressure, it's just because it's so charged, okay? And that's why I call it charged, because it's like a, an energetic charge to me, an electrical charge, I don't know what it is. I mean, English language doesn't have always good words to describe the um, things that make us tight. <laughs> Again, they, trying to find things in English to describe these things is not easy. So again, I'm going quite gentle actually here um, in terms of my pressure. You can see I'm not really pushing hard. Um, it would be, if I pushed hard, it would completely overwhelm her. So I want to find that, that pressure, but I'm, I'm getting there uh, where it's effective, but not overwhelming, okay? And that's a sort of first run. Then I might kind of just use my thumb. And again, not even at full pressure, my thumb, just to give a change from the chopstick because the chopstick can be kind of intense. Um, and then I'm going to do this, where I hold the base of the toe and just move it and see if we're getting some loosening. A little bit. But again, I'm just, and then I'm going to come in and work all the ends of these bands. So instead of just thinking of an individual band right now, I'm just, again, trying to get the ends of all of, all of the ones that are coming into the toe. And that's often what I do on a, on a sort of a first run over. So my, you know, I was talking about on most people, I do like an hour or two on each foot and then I do a hand 
and I get 40 or 50% of the tension out. This is like a first treatment one. I do all toes, all the toes, because they're all gonna have some tension. Then on my second run over, I'll be going on, on what I call the stubborn tension, the stuff that wasn't shifting in my first treatment. And that might be individual toe, like it might be that one toe is really not, not moving very easily, or it might be one band on a toe, one side of a toe. And that could be my second or even my third run over. Depends how bad people's feet are, okay? So again, moving that toe side to side, I can again work through here, come into now deeper into the, into the foot, and again, just trying to sense that level where it's too much for her and working just below that. Any energy I pick up, I try and throw away. How's it feeling? Yeah, energy's moving. Yeah. So these are the these are the you know people can have huge emotional releases or energy releases from working their toes. Okay. It's the edge of that pain. Yes. Makes them heal get hot. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, I, I, I like to I try and work people at, just, at, at their maximum that they can handle, so we get as much progress quickly. Well, you can do it, like I say, with some people, you could do it gentler, um, and it would just be slower to release them. You know? But in the end, it's the person. You know, ultimately, you want the person to kind of decide. You know, how much of a how much they want to release, how much they're ready for, and it can be different on different days. Sometimes you're just having a bit of a hard day. And you're just not ready for that level of release that day, you know, and you just do what you can. Okay, so I'm going to come back into here because I'm still feeling a lot of tightness at the back here, in here. So I'm going to come back into here. And sometimes it just comes to a point where that, that particular toe's had enough for that day. And then you could move to another toe. So there's certain things that might make it where you, um, you just do a certain amount at a time. But... If she can handle, as long as she can handle it, I, I feel like I'm just warming her up right now, just getting a bit of energy, you know, getting things moving. Oh, right in here, yeah. feels so tight, like a huge blockage in here. And again, it's coming from in here. So feeling that right in there uh, makes me kind of want to come back into the roots of it right in here. And again, always encouraging her to breathe because there's some, you know, the more I look into the details of her, you know, I see quite a lot of blockages in her feet actually, or in this toe. I can even hold the point here and then move the toe into the, the stick as well. Instead of just me going pushing the stick. Because you never just, if you just push the stick, right, you also, the toe moves with it. So your other hand is always controlling that, but sometimes you might push the, the spot and again, getting right up to that, the highest intensity that she can handle, which is about there, before she's going to tighten up against me. And then again, we encourage her to breathe. All right, and then I stimulate that spot ever so slightly. Flick off any. Okay, and then coming back to this spot that I felt earlier that seemed pretty kind of supercharged to me a bit, right there. And you can feel that, obviously. Yeah. How are you going? Yeah. Good. <laughs> and then again, I'm going to try and stimulate that. Again, not overwhelming her. I know I'm near her threshold. Uh, and, and I'm using my fingers because now the band has become about the width of my fingers. Okay, and I feel that that spot's there. So, but I don't want to hover on it for too long. I just want to kind of open it up, see if it's going to move. Um, again, my first treatment is, in terms of like a first treatment on this foot, is to get whatever tension I can get rid of easily. Get rid of it. And then it makes the picture clear for the next time where you've just got your stubborn tension. Stubborn tension could take a few treatments. And I'm, so... I'm, but I don't want to overwhelm her and make her feel like, oh, this is all too much or anything like that. But I'm going to follow this up a little bit now that I've started to work through here and a little bit along here because this is really tight in here. And I'm going to bring her leg open like that. And we can really then feel that band 
through this ankle here. And right beside the bone. So her bone is here and the band runs right beside it, okay? And this one could be such a charged band. And again, we felt that a bit with her. Remember we felt a bit of um, big toe belly tension in her belly when we were diagnosing? So again, I'm just coming in through here, really trying to see if it's gonna release here. And then again, just light to medium pressure. I can even hold part of that band and just shake it gently. Okay. Coming back. And then I'm gonna give that a rest. Again, always being aware, this is also her first treatment, so I don't wanna make it too intense for her. And then I can come back and even just use my this is one area, the only area I ever would use my nail on actually is this actual end point of, on the big toe. And I can, it's not quite as intense as using a chopstick, so again I can try and shift some of that blockage in that end area. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is again turn and see what, if I can get some more looseness out of this joint. And then stretch it both ways, this way as well. Just gently and gradually opening up that joint. And then coming in, and here what I'm doing is holding here and holding here. And then I'm gonna move the joint while holding. Because that feels kind of, you can feel that feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I'm just coming back and forth. So then again, I'm just, I'm trying to work different parts to give her a little break as well. So I'm not just, Hover, I call it hovering. Sometimes you, people hover on a spot, and if it's really up at your, level, your you know, pain level, you kind of go, oh, I can only handle that for so long. So what I'm doing is I'm moving around. Okay? Change is as good as a holiday, as they say. And then moving it, stretching it side to side. Coming in at the bottom. So all the roots of the bands that are coming into the big toe. And again, just holding that one a little bit because that one's so jammed up. And now I'm coming into the big toe sacrum band as well. So the big toe belly band runs right beside the bone. The big toe sacrum band is going to come more out here. And then I'm going to work over here, which leads to the delta band. And I'm going to follow that up to see what I can release out of that. You can see how tight that is. But I'm not going to think that I'm going to completely release that band because I'll only work the big toe as the basis of it. I haven't worked the next two toes. And this is why I say usually when I'm, you know, booking somebody in for a, a foot massage, I, I like it two hours often because you can see how long it takes. And her foot's in pretty good condition compared to a lot of people. The big toes can take quite a while. And so then what I'm doing is I'm stretching the toe this way while holding that point. So again, just another way to work that point on the end of that band that's coming into the front of the toe. So bringing the toe into it. And again, that's up near her, her threshold there. So just different variety of techniques to get in. And then trying to go a little bit easier for her just to give her a little rest and work over the band and come back in here and move it a bit. All right. and we're even finding other toes are starting to release as this one lets go a little bit. And then what I could do is I could go, okay, I've got maybe 10 or 20% of the tension out of the big toe. I could either go, okay, let's give it a rest let's, and let's work the other toes. If, say, I wanted to get a, a whole a feeling of, of wholeness for that foot. So I can feel like this one's jammed up. And so I'm going to do the same on this one. I'm going to start here into this point here. And again, hold that, kind of projecting a bit of energy like a laser into there just to break up that congestion. How's that? About a nine and a half? 